And welcome back to Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel, also known as Powerboating in Paradise TV, as it once was when we started back in 1996 on Sunshine Network. And now here we are on YouTube and loving it because we have expanded our viewing audience to well over 35,000 subscribers. Guys, uh, good to have you back here in the studio with Ryan McCoy, our producer, Stu Jones here, your host and president of the Florida Powerboat Club. And we are about to rejoin our club members at a great summer blockbuster, the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week, which has moved from August to September now. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, Mystic Power Boats, and newest to our 21 series sponsors is Cigarette Racing Team and their authorized dealer, Top Gun Yachts. Also, their Florida dealer, Chief Marine Group in Isla Morada, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Performance Boat Center with two locations in Florida and Missouri, and Nortec High Performance Boats. In addition to our series sponsors, we'd like to welcome feature sponsors for the Emerald Coast event, including Alicomp Insurance. Emerald Grand and Harborwalk Village, our Poker Run headquarters. Legendary Marina Destin, our official launching and staging headquarters for the event. And AJ Seafood and Oyster Bar on the Destin Harbor, our official sponsor dock for the event. And our newest sponsor, Fear the River Poker League. And back here in Destin, guys, no, this is not Las Vegas, although it looks like it, uh, the AJ's new neon sign uh, right here on Destin Harbor. And a very fun evening here, Friday evening, we call it the Captain's Party. As you can see, they always roll out the red carpet to us here at AJ's, and it's red for our lovely Autumn, uh, our FPC girls leading the charge here as they enter the party. And they are going to be our hostesses for the evening, as well as uh, the entire team here at AJ's which is the unofficial heavyweight here on Destin Harbor. The number one party destination has been for years. And of course, we have been here every year since day one with the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Owner of AJ's, Alan Laird, is actually one of the co-founders of the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And the entire upstairs deck at AJ's is a part of a private event for the Poker Run attendees. That's right, with all this amazing food and hospitality to make you guys feel special not only because you are a Florida Powerboard Club member, but also because you're a part of a big event here in this community that raises funds for local charities year after year. And there is the other reason why AJ's is such a big hit for the poker runners, and that's because it's our official sponsor doc looking down, just kind of like the Key West scene, guys, where AJ's gives us their entire inside basin uh, and reserves it for our VIPs. Of course, these are all of the sponsors on display. I can see a Nortec shirt, but I see some Deep Impacts on displays, some Blackwaters, some Concepts, and some Midnight Express. There's all kinds of boats here, and these are the sponsors who are given the docking privileges that they very much deserve because they're big supporters of the Florida Powerboat Club. It's a beautiful evening, and you can't feel the temperature, but let me assure you guys, moving this event from August to September has given us some nice cool evenings less humidity, much more bearable in terms of just walking around the docks, and of course having some fun with the FPC girls who are doing this sizzling photo shoot dockside. Of course we drew a lot of attention with all these lovely girls on the boats getting their pictures for the FPC magazine and here for the Power Boating in Paradise TV show. And remember these are the very same ladies that are the participants in the Miss Power Boat Week contest which took place a night earlier, that was Thursday evening. There's Andrea, one of our contestants, and our event and model coordinator, Amber Content, getting some nice shots here on this deep impact. So let's enjoy this dockside photo shoot. Well, there's certainly uh, something for everyone here at this AJ's uh, dockside party Friday evening, honoring all the captains uh, for this event. Thank you so much to AJ's and all their staff for rolling out the red carpet.
again turn the page to Saturday morning and yet another beautiful day here in Destin as we take off with Timberview helicopters. This R44 going to be our platform for the FPC photo and video crew today as we start off the poker run, which is going to commence right in Destin Harbor with poker card number one. And that's going to work out well for everybody because we have so many boats that are positioned uh, either at Legendary Marina or that could be docked at one of many locations in Destin Harbor. So everything's really close, at least for the start of the day. And just look at this amazing weather. Remember now, the temperature is much cooler than they would be in August, and that's going to make for a great day of boating for everyone giving you a little bit of scenery here as we fly over the city of Destin, which to me illustrates above all that this is just a great community to live and boat year round. Emerald Coast 2021 and a great celebration because we changed the dates after all these years to late September. Why? Because it is beautiful here on the Emerald Coast in late September, right Jackie? Gorgeous, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Jackie loves it, I love it, everyone loves it. And we are kicking things off here with card number one on Saturday morning, Team Hard Knocks. 36 right performance cat all the way from Texas their very first poker run with the club so guys lucky card number one the lovely autumn here is uh, one of our FPC girls handing the cards out and we are kicking things off here with an 80 boat poker run today starting right here in Destin Harbor everybody's starting to gather around all the tourists getting ready to rent their jet skis and their pontoons for the day but for the Florida Powerboat Club it's a 120 mile course with power boats of all descriptions on the course today and a very, very energetic crew because last night at the AJ's party, everybody kept telling me, Stu, that might have been the best day of boating I've ever had. And that was only Friday. We still got two more days to go. A big day today on the water and a lot of fun again tomorrow as we wrapped up here over at Noriego Point. So stay with us for this exciting Emerald Coast Power Boat Poker Run featuring the members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Let's go. And just a continuous flow, almost like a parade here now as Neil and Cindy Campbell pull up. And you can see that some teams really take this poker run seriously, uh, putting together a great theme for the boat. And for this one, it's Fear the River Poker League. And that is uh, Miss Cindy up on the bow getting her poker card. And a special introduction to their guests on board, Phil and Ashley Bennyworth. They're actually the founders and they operate the Fear the River Poker League. And Phil is going to be our guest dealer at the Saturday night poker card table. Now let's welcome Roger and Pam Anderson all the way from Texas in their brand new Nortec 390 Sport. It's got quad Mercury Racing 450s as Pam reaches out and grabs that poker card. They're not her first rodeo. Certainly they've done a lot of poker runs with this club over the years. I don't think I'm far off to say we probably met them 20 years ago on this event when they were operating their 42 Lightning. And another family who has a long history with this event. The Panapintos, uh, Lance Sr. at the helm, Lance Jr. up getting the card. I don't see mom, but she's certainly around somewhere. This is a 30-foot Baja team flying high. Now let's welcome back uh, Larry and Heather Montalero all the way from Louisiana. 34-foot Nortec Sport. And uh, first time uh, fully involved is uh, their first center console. They usually do this event in a 33-foot Fountain Lightning, but uh, they made the switch to a center console. A little bit apprehensive at the beginning, they said, but very happy with the move. Well, here's a team who makes a lot of poker runs with the club, but it is the very first time in this 47-foot victory cat, George Ariano from Ocala, Florida. This is one of his newest toys in his collection of many, and it's an incredible boat, a one-off haul. We've never seen one of these before. This 47 cat is a converted race boat running a pair of Mercury Racing 700s, making it really an ideal poker run boat, and especially for today's great conditions. And it's time to welcome back Rufus and Kim Scott from Georgia in their 47-foot fountain, and this time they've got a new guest on the bow. That's right. We didn't know who it was, but this dinosaur outfit was a big kick. Everyone seemed to love it. And if you can't hear it, that's that dinosaur song playing in the background. A nice show from Rufus and Kim here in this 47 fountain. Guys, nice to see you back, and glad you're having fun putting on a great show.
And it's the other half of uh, George Ariano's crew. This time it's his 35-foot DCB dual cal Mercury Racing 1100 1350s and a little push off the dock so we don't scratch that nice paint job. And this brand new Nortec 452 Superfish uh, Team Sango, owned by Robert Singelman and sponsored by Greg Bent from Bent Marine. And we are keeping Little Miss Autumn very busy today as she hands out the cards. This time it's Kip and Sarah Patterson on their fountain race boat, Team Black Pearl. 38-foot fountain that's been converted back to poker runs, and they've been having a lot of fun with this boat. And here's a crew that is always a contender for the sexiest crew award, Patrick McCarty, and their lovely first mate, Kristen, in her bright lime green bikini. And quite the crew there, Kristen, that you brought along, always looking fine on team post-call. And the most memorable image in the FPC photo archives was when Kristen got all the girls to switch their bikini tops out for life jackets and did a photo shoot and of course sent it to me for my private collection. You gotta love Patrick and Kristen, real team players. One more time for Autumn as she hands out now to Team Shifting Tides, Scott and Lori Kowalski from Jacksonville, Florida in their beautiful Polini slash statement. That's right, Polini started building it, statement finished it, so it still is speculated to be a 36 or a 37. We don't care, it's got twin 450s, it's beautiful, and it runs great. Glad to have this couple here. They seem to be having a blast on these events. Well, we certainly have a lot more video from the docks here at Giving Out First Car, but let's get up in the air and get you guys some high-speed aerials. Checking the lay of the land here as our helicopter flies over the Highway 98 bridge. That is Crab Island to the right, and you can see the shallow waters where the sandbar is very popular hangout all weekend long. Now to the left uh, is Noriego Point. That's that long stretch of sand that was recently filled in just a couple of years ago. And straight off in the distance, that is your east pass taking you out to the Gulf waters. Now this poker run is not going to include any offshore running in the Gulf today. We're gonna stay on the inside or the protected waters of the intracoastal from Sandestin all the way to Pensacola Beach. And then looking straight ahead now, you can see Destin Harbor. And this kind of puts it in perspective. You can see there's so many waterfront uh, restaurants off to the left side. And to the right, you've got a lot of private residences and condominium buildings. So there's a lot of people that when they come to Destin, they actually find like a luxury condo rental off in one of these buildings to the right or deep into the harbor. And while over to the left here, you can see these are the popular, mostly the charter boat docks and a lot of people who have annual contracts to keep their cruisers or sport fishing boats here in this harbor. So we're going to zoom in on our teams now who are going through this short idle speed zone. Uh, they've just gone underneath the Highway 98 bridge and they're essentially heading on a northbound pattern right now, getting out into the open waters of Choctahatchee Bay. But they've got to get past this idle speed zone uh, with Crab Island off in the distance. This is kind of a congested critical area. And then once you get it back out into the Bay Area, you can get back on plane. And that's exactly what Jerry Swanson is doing with his big skater. This is a 46 foot skater, Team 22, with some big custom Sterling power plants. And they even have engine builder Mike DeAnnabelle joining them for the weekend. And now let's say hi to Guy Wilson in his uh, Sensation 34 CCX center console. I believe it is his second event of the year. He joined us for the Miami run back in February. And we're just uh, flying over Dan Knox now all the way from Texas who kicked off the show earlier. He got the very first poker card dockside at Harbor Walk Village when we started the poker run handoffs for the day. This right performance 360 cat is becoming a very popular boat on the poker run circuit. And a distant cousin to that right performance cat is this Doug Wright 32 foot cat it's powered by Twin Mercury Racing 400Rs. Jack and Kay Stewart, not far from home, they're from Panama City Beach, just 60 miles away, where they manage an RV dealership. And a big thumbs up to Jack and his crew for safety awareness. Notice that they're all wearing their life jackets. Good job, guys.
And just to illustrate the wide variety of boats that you're going to see here on this poker run, and really at all FPC events, this monster Fountain 48-Foot Express, Matt and Anne Marie Raymond, Team Miss Grace, all the way from North Carolina. They trailered the boat here. That is a conversion, five Mercury Racing 400Rs. The boat used to be powered by Cummins Mercruiser Diesels. And if you're wondering how can they possibly move this big beast around on the highways, well, of course, Matt is a Ford dealer. Sanders Ford, that's where we get all of our Ford pickups. And yes, indeed, they tow it with a Ford. And here's a closer look now at this brand new Nortec 390 Sport Quad Mercury Racing 450s. That's about as big and bad as you can get, guys, of a Nortec 390. You can't put more power on this boat than what they've got here now. And it's not their first rodeo, it's their second 390 Nortec. The last one had triple 400 Rs. And if you're starting to think, uh, boy, we see an awful lot of Nortex on these events, indeed you are. In this particular case, we have 12 registered Nortex on this 80-boat roster, making Nortec the leading manufacturer represented here on this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. And another center console brand we see a lot of on these Florida Powerboat Club runs is this Mystic. Catching up now with Neil and Cindy Campbell, who came all the way from St. Petersburg to join us. This is a 2021 model, brand new, 42-foot M4200 is the model. The power is Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. And I love the catchy colors. And for those of you who are wondering, that's a BMW metallic brown mixed with Orion silver. One bit of uh, performance trivia, guys. This boat has already seen 88 miles per hour. That is truly amazing. And for those of you who say you'll never jump over to a center console boat, well, you may want to talk to Larry and Heather because <laughs> they just traded their 33 Fountain in for this Nortec 340 Sport. They say that they never thought that they'd enjoy a center console as much as they have enjoyed this one. And in his video bio, he confided that I don't think I'll be going back to a high-performance boat again. Well, I always say you can never say that because, guys, we all like going fast. Sooner or later, we're going to have two or three boats in our little fleet just because each boat does everything so well. One of the things they liked most about the run, they said the venues and the parties were excellent. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate that. And now let's welcome Team Hard Decisions, this 43-foot sensation, Jason and Shanna Tolliver. And they've done a lot of events with the club over the years. Jason really loves sensations. I think he's known several. This is a 2008 43 Sensation F4. It's got twin Mercury Racing 700s, custom paint by Mitchell T in Michigan with a lot of details that tell a number of stories. What do they love about power boating? They said meeting new friends, the boating family is always so welcoming and we always have a good time. It was their first time for Emerald Coast. They traveled 793 miles from Ohio to get here, towing the boat with their sport chassis. Well, this next boat we were unable to identify, but we're gonna leave it in anyway. Why? Well, first of all, because it's beautiful. And secondly, because Midnight Express is one of our sponsors. And <laughs> this is a very rare 34 Midnight called McKnight Express. I guess maybe that's the owner's name. It's got triple Mercury 300 outboards. Uh, a great running boat. You can see he's got the throttles pushed forward because the helicopter came down and he said, you know what? I'm gonna get in on this poker run fun. And now we're gonna catch up with Kip and Sarah Patterson in this 38 foot fountain race boat. It's powered by big custom 572 cubic inch race motors. Nice to see that Sarah and Kip are staying in the sport. They started poker runs way back in 2006, right here on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And let's say hi now to Scott and Lori Kowalski from Jacksonville, Florida, about a five hour haul down I-10. They're joined by their friends, Kenny and Bridget Powell, who joined them for the team. And it was the first time that they had been on a powerboat. <laughs> so Kenny did confess that he was scared to death. In their video bio, they told us that they bought the boat in 2020 at Lotto 
but they originally are from Michigan where they boated in the Great Lakes all around uh, Michigan, Ohio, New York, and Ontario. So kind of like the same place I grew up boating. What did they say about the Emerald Coast Run? They said the location was fantastic. They loved the run down to Pensacola for lunch. And they loved flounders because they could hang out barefoot in the sand. They said that they loved the event and thanks for the hard work planning it. Well, guys, thank you for showing up to join us. And that will wrap up our aerial coverage for this episode of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. Well, guys, the part of the show that so many of you have been waiting for, including me, <laughs> is our Miss Powerboat Week contest. And this time, guys, oh, yes, and that was a great lineup, too. Eight lovely ladies here at Harry T's in Harbor Walk Village. It's the Thursday night, so it's our opening night for the Poker Run festivities. And no better way to start things off here with the beautiful Jasmine. Remember, there are eight contestants, and we've already done two full rounds. The first round was cocktail dress, and the second round was black bikini. So now the girls have their selection of their very own private personal swimwear, the one uh, suit that they look good and feel best in, and that is exactly what Jasmine is doing right now so they can really strut their stuff. We love the fact that these ladies are not only here to entertain us for the Miss Powerboat Week contest, but they're also a part of our regular FPC girls staff who have joined us for the entire weekend. The girls are going to be handing out poker cards. They're going to be hostessing at parties, helping you with your check-in, making sure you get your t-shirts, and of course, uh, riding around with us on the poker run course uh, all day Friday and all day Saturday. I'm going to let you watch the ladies, guys, and pretend that you are a judge at this time. But a couple of things I want to say first as the judges who all participated made a donation to our charity and we are going to announce that at the final episode we had a total of four charities represented here for this event and we donated ten thousand dollars back to the local community the second thing i would like to say is that uh, harry t's at harbor walk village was probably the most perfect venue for us you can't see it now but it's upstairs open deck open air overlooking Destin Harbor and it really doesn't get much better than that and they really rolled out the red carpet to us so thank you so much to the entire staff at Harry T's we'll definitely call this venue our home base for the next Miss Powerboat Week contest all right guys it's time to get serious uh, get out your pad and your pen and put on your judging goggles because you have a tough job ahead of you you've got to pick first second and third place of this beautiful lineup of eight lovely FPC girls go to it
And if you're not certain, the final walkout with all eight of our lovely contestants on the stage at the same time, well, that just might put you over the edge, get your heart racing, and probably break out in a sweat. But remember, you're a judge, and your job is to make sure the right ladies win the contest. So get your scores finalized on this final round because we're going to give $1,000 away to the top three winners. And with all of the judging scores tallied up, even though most of the sheets were soaked in drink stains, we managed to get the numbers finalized, and our second runner-up winning third place is the lovely Miss Jasmine. And our first runner-up, that would be second place, goes to the beautiful Miss Lakin. And when she's not doing a bikini contest, she's a soccer coach on the sidelines. She joined us for her first event about four months earlier at the Miss Powerboat Week contest at Orange Beach. And congratulations to our first place winner, the beautiful Miss Shelby. And it just shows that uh, consistency eventually pays off because she's been on a number of events with us before, but she keeps coming back. And this time she takes home the crown, Miss Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2021. Congratulations to all of the lovely ladies who took part in this contest. And thanks for coming out to join us for the entire weekend as our beautiful brand ambassadors for the Florida Powerboat Club. And thanks to all of our judges for making their donations and helping us out with the judging for the evening. And of course, to the beautiful Miss Amber Content, our contest coordinator, who did a wonderful job as always. God, I was having so much fun on this episode. Everything is just so fantastic. This event outcome was above and beyond my highest expectations. And I really enjoy coming back to the Emerald Coast every year. But we're only halfway through the series. We've got four more episodes to go. So we're going to sign off now, guys. But remember, if you want to catch the next few episodes with full coverage of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week, you got to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming poker run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stew at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.